Hello everyone. We are presented with this question which is question 23 of 2024 GCE Mathematics Paper 1 of course. This is the last question. This is the last question and the last question is under uh, which is question 23, question 23 normally is under time graph or speed time graph or velocity time graph yes. So the question reads the statement reads on top of the hair the diagram below shows the speed time graph of an object. The object accelerates uniformly from O to P until it reaches a speed of 20 meters per second in 4 seconds and then moves steadily from P to Q for 60 seconds and finally comes to rest. Okay, so this is the, diagram, uh, the diagram of what they're saying here. Okay, so this is the diagram. So what you do, look, this is acceleration here, and this is constant velocity, and this is deceleration. So when you read the questions here, they're saying, find the acceleration in the first, first four seconds here. Find acceleration, and it's just one mark. Okay, so to calculate acceleration, we use this formula. Okay, so this is question A. We use this formula acceleration is equals to final velocity minus initial velocity over time what time taken okay do we know acceleration no is the one we want to come to find final velocity yes is 20 okay 20 then the initial velocity of course is zero from here up to here is uh, from here is zero because see, an object starts from rest which is zero, zero. Time taken is four seconds. Okay, like this. So you can say acceleration is equals to 20 divided by four. 20 divided by four, four into 20 is just five meters per second, but squared here. Has to be squared, that's the units for acceleration. Okay, next question, which is question B, and they're asking us to find total distance covered by the object. Total distance covered by the object. Total distance. Now, how do you find total distance? Don't use the formula for average speed, which is speed is equal to distance covered over time taken. No. The distance here they're asking us, it is the area under the graph. This area. Now, when you look at the shape here, you have two right angled triangles and the rectang a rectangle here. So you can find the area of this triangle, area of this rectangle, and the area of this triangle, add them, and that is that will be the answer. But check. There is also another way of calculating this at the same time. The shape here is a trapezium. This is a trapezium, so you can use the formula for area of trapezium to calculate the, uh, this distance. So let's use that. Okay. So area of trapezium is um so area is equals to one over two open bracket a plus b close bracket and then h here which is height now usually a let's put a here down here our a is from zero to fifteen then our b on top here from p to q okay P to Q, somewhere like that. Then H is this distance from 0 here to 20. From 0 to 20, which is just 20. So you can say, you can be substitute H is 20. Then our A is, is from 0 to 15, which is just 15. Okay, 15, which is just 15 minus 0, 15. Then from here, it is 10 minus 4, which is just what? 6. Okay. Then let's substitute in the formula. So here with this area, we're going to write distance. Distance is equals to 1 over 2 open bracket. 1 over 2 open bracket, then um, our A is 15. Our B is 6. Our H is 20. Okay. It's equals to, how, what is half of 20? Half of 20 is 10. Then 15 plus 6 is 21. So we have 21 
multiplied by 10. When you're multiplying any number by 10, just add the, the zero, one zero to that number. So it is 21. When multiplying by 10, just add the zero and becomes the 210 uh, meters. This is the total, the total distance. Okay, you can use this one or you can use area area of the sh shapes under the graph okay now the last question here which is three marks they're asking us to find the average speed in the last four seconds this is very simple this is very simple now look at this if the question is in the last four seconds now when you calculate from 10 to 15 is it four seconds no it is five what? Five seconds. That's the fourteen in the in the same in the last four seconds. So eleven is somewhere here. So let's let me show you something like this. Okay. If we have another point here, eleven. Let's go hit this one. Eleven. If there's eleven here, eleven to fifteen is is in the last four seconds. So if eleven, if there was eleven here in the last four seconds. So there is four seconds here, okay? From eleven to fifteen is four is four seconds. Let me just write there that. Now, do we know the velocity? No, 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 no. We don't know. Check. We don't know the velocity. So <laughs> we can say um, v here. We don't know. Okay. Oops. What do we do? This is very simple. Now, there are different methods of, of finding V here. But what I'm going to use, I'm going to use similarities and the congruence, but just similarities. Check. If you have two right angle triangles like this, there is this one and um, a smaller one here. Okay. A smaller one. And if they say here, okay, this one here is X. Then here is four, here is two, here is th uh, um, let me say three, and here uh, two. Okay, that it makes sense. Well, how can you find the value of x? We use now what is known as proportions. Okay, the larger the larger distance here, which is x, larger height over this four is equals to the larger base here, which is three over this one two then you cross multiply automatically you're going to find the value of what the value of x so that is exactly what we're going to do here check you have this triangle here 10 to 15 and this triangle 11 to 15 okay and then there is a height 0 to 20 there's 20 here and the v here this uh, distance here so we're going to say the height of a larger triangle is 20. Okay, let me use this part here. I'm now calculating 20 over 20 over the height of a smaller triangle, which is V, like this. Now, what is the second, the, the, the base of a larger triangle? 10 to 15 is what? 5 over what is the what is the base of a smaller tri uh, triangle they're saying four seconds so it is just 20 four here then you cross multiply the here to be five v is equals to this times this so just, just to show that you're multiplying 20 times four so that you don't make numbers big or big uh, bigger so five and five will cancel all right Therefore, V, which is velocity, is equals to uh, 5 here, 1, 5 into, into 24, 4 times 4, 16. Wow. So, V is 16 meters per second. In this one, this makes sense. Why? Because if we would have proceeded in solving the average speed, it would have been like this. Speed is equals to distance covered over time taken. Now, speed is equals to what is the distance? What is the distance covered? 
You see? What is the distance what? Eh? Distance covered. Okay? So this is not the average speed for the whole journey, but eh, the average speed in the last four seconds. And this is the triangle here. So distance here, we're going to we need to find the area of the triangle. But we you see, the problem is we don't know, we don't know the what eh? the, the, the the velocity. But we've calculated. Okay, we've calculated here. So you can say the distance covered there is this area of 1 over 2 bh. Distance, which is distance here, is equals to half. What is b? b from here, breadth is 4. So you can write 4. What is h? The height, the height now is 16. You see? On 2016, we've already now, we've now found 16 is equals to, what is half of 4? 2, 2 times 16 is 30, what, 32 meters. Well, having found the distance covered in the last 4 seconds and the time taken here, we can find the average, what, speed. So, therefore, Average speed is equals to distance d over t. Distance is 32 meters over time taken thing is for seconds. Okay. 4 into 32 is 8. So 8 meters per second. 8 meters per second. Now, let me explain this again. You see, if the question was saying, calculate the average speed for the um, whole journey, or oh, by the way, uh, whole journey, it would have been what? Total distance this one over total time taken, which is 15. Now, here they're asking us to find what? To find the distance in the last four seconds. In the last four seconds, we know here you don't have the height or the velocity or the speed for the last in the last four seconds. So this is what you go through to calculate what to calculate the velocity and also calculate distance. Then the average what average speed. By the way, this one, in fact, this one is not supposed to be like this again. Okay. It's not supposed to be like this. This one would have been the distance, not 210. The distance would have been the distance, the area of this triangle. Okay. The area of this triangle would have been 5 times 20, which is um, 5 times 20, which is 100. I've been 100 here, 100 over 5, not 210. Okay. Because the distance in the last 5 seconds, not the total duality, not total distance. Okay, so just do a lot of practice on this on these questions. You get used. You get used to such questions. Thank you so much. Remember to subscribe uh, to the channel and liking the video. Thank you.